Now I'm gonna take it for a test run. See if I can get back to 55 miles an hour. Swapping out my stock chain for this uh, DID 420 non overing chain. It's an ER motocross uh, chain 420 NZ3. Supposed to be one of the best on the market. It's an actual motor racing uh, motocross chain. I first seen this on Fair Fixed It. Not sure if I'm pronouncing his name right, but um, yeah, I first seen it on his channel and he swapped out his stock chain for this very chain. And he was able to get between three and five miles per hour gain. And I'm pretty much hoping for the same. I'm actually hoping to get five miles an hour gain. That would be insane to spend $40 and get a five miles an hour gain. That would be insane. I mean, if I get three miles an hour, I'll be happy. Four miles an hour, I'll probably be ecstatic with that. Five miles an hour, I'll be happy and then I'm picking shit with that. You know, I'm hoping for the same results as he got. Now this chain is probably about a pound heavier than the stock. It doesn't have any O-rings on it. So I'm hoping it's not a lot louder. Cause they say the whole ring helps dampen the noise from the chain or whatever. Or the O-ring acts as a dampener to help quiet the chain down. So I'm hoping it's not much louder. And um, I'm about 170 pounds. My, my current top speed is 55 miles an hour. Um, at least according to the Egg Rider display. Take it for a test ride and see what happens. I never really did a top speed run with the GPS. That's why I'm gonna just stick with the Egg Rider because I know that's top side at 55. Maybe later on I'll check the GPS. Only thing to me, those things aren't that accurate because when I test it against the car, around 60 miles an hour, it starts lagging behind a little. Like by 70 miles an hour, it's almost five miles different. So I don't know how accurate those are. I ride mainly with the Egg Rider as my speedometer, so. You know, I didn't change anything other than the, the chain. I want to see what top speed I get by just changing the chain. $40 upgrade, mod, swap, install, whatever you want to call it. And this is the chain that I use. So this is the chain right here. I got it off of Amazon. I'm going to reinstall the, um, the chain guard and take it outside. Okay, I got the chain guard back on. Hi, right, y'all. Just got finished. Installing the 429 O-ring DID NZ3 ER chain and I'm hoping to get like a five mile gain. Three mile would be cool, but five would be awesome. And yeah. I thought the chain was gonna be a little bit more noisy, but it sounds about the same. I don't know they say the O-rings is for um to less noise. It sounds about the same pretty much. Yeah, so I'm hoping for a five mile gain or whatever. This is my launching pad right here, so I'm gonna go up go up here. A lot of traffic, but I'm gonna go up here. I got a full charge. I'm on hundred percent. I'm gonna see what's my top speed going back up. I'm gonna so I'm pretty much focus on the the Egg Rider speedometer. But I'm not sure about the GPS. I'm not sure what it did before. So anyway, come on, baby. What are you looking for? chain I would have been at 55 right right when I got to about the start of the hill so I don't know it's a little nippy out here let me see if I didn't I didn't use any battery really yeah so it's fine 
That's at about a five miles an hour loss, four or five miles an hour loss. I don't know if that makes sense. And that's downhill as well. I'm gonna put the um, factory train back on. Wow. And I hope I don't. You know what I mean? I hope I'm not gonna be doing 45 miles an hour. But train back on. 51. Let's see. At 51 is my top speed going up or down. I usually hit 55 with no problem. You got loose something? Wow. Now I gotta put my old chain back on. I'm a bit dis okay, I'm a bit disappointed, but so in the name of science. I don't know if anyone else tried this mod, let me know what results you got. Um I tried this mod for a loss. I'm seeing a top speed of 51, 50, 51, even downhill. I remember this thing hit like 60 miles an hour, I was coming back from Bradcliffe Manor and the person behind me was doing 60. Um, we was coming south, so I guess that's kind of, we're coming downhill, but anyway. Yeah, I was hoping for, you know, 58 or north of 58. I seem to have lost about four or five miles an hour. But it was all in the name of science and all in good fun or whatever. Okay, I got my stock chain back on there. You know, I'm going to take it for a test run. See if I can get back to 55 miles an hour or about 51. <laughs> okay, I got my stock chain back on. Gonna be the same test where I'm at 98 percent. Damn, it's the same. It's a little chilly out, but something ain't right. Battery's still at 100%. Wow. 55 miles an hour out of this bike. Now I'm only getting 50. Wow. It's a skunk out here. They can't that bridge down. Yo. Is it the weather? Something I can't hit. Oh my goodness. All right, so I'm getting the same exact speed. Actually, with the stock, I'm getting a mile an hour more. I'm getting 51. What the hell happened? Alright, to this I was getting 55 miles an hour. Right now, I'm getting 51. 50. I do have a hole in this one. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is all in the name of science. 